Hi guys, welcome to the review and unboxing of perfume dessert. I got mine in a set from Shopee for around 175 pesos each, but it also retails for 170 to 195 pesos in range. So I intend to make this uh, review. I am no expert, but I'm just giving my personal thoughts about it. Mostly yung mga nakikita kong review is uh, very general, nababango silang lahat. But um, for this one, I will try to make it a little bit in-depth. So first, we got berries and bay leaf. So from the word itself, what do you expect from berries? It should be a mix of sweet and tart set. And from the bay leaf, it's a woody, corniferous, and camphorous scent. The vibes that I'm getting from the scent is actually musky, a little bit spicy and herbal. Herbal in a scent na hindi naman, ano, hindi naman mentholated, pero it's quite soothing kasi. And it's a very familiar scent with a hit of mystery. Yung parang pag naamoy mo, parang naamoy mo na siya dati, pero hindi mo ma-pinpoint kung anong scent yun. Kaya very intriguing. And it is actually ideal for setting a first memorable first impression. Maganda siyang icebreaker actually. <laughs> now we go to the Neroli and Grapefruit scent. Also from Hennessy Edition. So Neroli is um, actually oil from Blossom of Bitter Orange Tree. And in combo with the grapefruit, Grapefruit gives a bright bitter citrus scent. I had grapefruit before, actually parang years ago. And to be honest, ang pait niya kasi talaga. It is very tart and bitter. Pero yung scent niya kasi talaga super refreshing. So these scents give me vibes of zesty, citrus, tapos grapefruit forward siya. Yung pagbukas mo palang amoy mo na talaga na fruity siya. And the bitter notes actually makes it unique and stand out. About the bottle pala, glass bottle siya with a matte sticker. Tapos yung spray niya, golden. Classy. So, ang feeling ko sa scent na to is very invigorating and ideal for daily scent. Yung pwede mo siyang araw-arawin. Now, here is the Amber and Bluebell also from Hennessy Edition. This is one of their best seller. Kakaristak lang yata nito. So, from its name, Amber gives a warm, powdery, and sweet scent. And the bluebell is actually a gentle and subtle green floral scent. Alam mo yung floral scent, pero hindi siya yung very girly. Floral siya na fresh. Amber and bluebell gives a fresh white floral bouquet scent. It is crisp with a wood earthy tone. Amoy malinis talaga siya, pero very natural. May iba kasing amoy malinis, pero synthetic. This is very gentle. Yung nai-imagine mo na white floral bouquet talaga yung vibes na nakukuha ko sa kanya. It is ideal for corporate, meaning that you are serious, and for casual events as well. Okay din siya for daily, hindi magagalit yung makakaamoy sa'yo. Now we have milk and barley. Quite an interesting combination. So for milk, it gives you sweet, cozy, and comforting scent. And for barley, it is actually fruity and slightly powdery, but also floral.
the scent is quite a surprise. It actually smells like sweet beer. Siguro dahil dun sa fermented scent of the barley. Pero medyo may acidic tones din siya. Pero afterwards, ang maiiwan na lang sa'yo is the warm powdery scent. So now, the infamous plum and black locust. One of the favorites of Miss Ivana Alawi. So the plum gives you sensual with a fruit very fragrance and the black locust is actually a flower which is a very intense creamy white it gives you the hint of orange blossom this scent is another surprise but it gives you the overripe fruit scent it is very very sweet but not citrusy you know na it comes from a fruit na, na matamis na talaga so it gives you that spring and summer scent and actually gives you a friendly impression and to my surprise I found the same fragrance from another shop And this one is from Mumuso. It is the peach blossom scent, uh, the Parfum, 14 ml for 199 pesos. Hindi ako makapaniwala na magtaamoy sila. I got this years ago, but it smells so good, kaya tinago ko yung bote. Now we have the black currant and amber gaze. So from the name, the black currant is actually the blend of juicy berries and sparkling citrus and the amber gaze is a marine fecal scent but over time it gets to a sweeter and earthier notes and intensifies and lingers to the skin this is actually quite new to me hindi ako familiar sa scent na to So the scent gives you a musk, strong, and alcohol forward. Pagbukas mo, amoy alcohol siya. But later on, it lingers to you with a powerful scent. This scent really gives you quite an impression. It gives you authority and power with a hint of sweetness na ikakat niya yung intimidation. Now we go to Perfume Dessert Eau de Parfum Gourmand Edition. And this is the raspberry smoothie. I got four from the set. So, apat na flavors, should I say. Yung kasama dun sa set of ten. And this is the first of them. And from the packaging, it says... Gourmand fragrances are warm and nostalgic, reminds us of cuddling, baking, and being nurtured. They immediately envelop you in a hug. So this scent, Raspberry Smoothie, gives me a vibe of a ripe fruit scent. Um, it is sweet and warm and I think it's uh, good for cold weather. It has similar notes with the berries and bay leaf but this one has a sweet vanilla tone to it. And now we have the cookie dough. I think this is uh, one of the few new releases that they had recently. And what can be more comforting than a cookie dough? <laughs> Maybe a brownie.
And wala pa ako masyadong nakikitang review about this uh, scent from the brand. Kaya sinama ko siya sa stash. But still, um, I'm a fan of cookie dough to be honest. Okay, so another interesting scent kasi cookie dough siya pero upon opening, it smells very alcohol. But naiiwan sa kanya yung musky amber na parang may burnt sugar sweet scent. So now we go to carrot cake. Madami din ako nakita ng review nitong carrot cake. It seems like this is one of their best seller, and this is also one of the new scent recently released. To be honest, very intriguing yung name na carrot cake. What do you expect from a carrot cake? Lalo na kung ginawa pa siyang scent. Would it be earthy? Would it be sweet? Kasi cake nga siya. But this one actually gives me the earthy, floral, and sensual smell. And the sweet citrus blossom which is a favorite of course. And then we go to orange sherbet mimosa. And I must really say props to the packaging. Ang ganda. You can feel the quality. And it feels so luxe. Pulidong pulido. Walang, wala kang masabi talaga. Pati yung bottle, the label, it is matte. And it's very consistent. So the vibes gives me a citrus opening scent with a musky end notes and it actually smells like the variant black currant and ambergris but this one has a sweet citrus note at the end. Now we go to Perfume Dessert Eau de Parfum Gourmand Edition and this is the Raspberry Smoothie. I got four from the set. So, apat na flavors, should I say. Yung kasama dun sa set of ten. And this is the first of them. And from the packaging, it says, Gourmand fragrances are warm and nostalgic. Reminds us of cuddling, baking, and being nurtured. They immediately envelop you in a hug. So this scent, Raspberry Smoothie, gives me a vibe of a ripe fruit scent. Um, it is sweet and warm and I think it's uh, good for cold weather. It has similar notes with the berries and bay leaf but this one has a sweet vanilla tone to it. And now we have the cookie dough. I think this is one of the few new releases that they had recently. And what can be more comforting than a cookie dough? <laughs> Maybe a brownie. <laughs> and wala pa ako masyadong nakikitang review about this uh, scent from the brand kaya sinama ko siya sa stash but still um, I'm a fan of cookie dough to be honest 
Okay, so another interesting scent kasi cookie dough siya pero upon opening, it smells very alcohol. But naiiwan sa kanya yung musky amber na parang may burnt sugar sweet scent. So now we go to carrot cake. Madami din ako nakita ng review nitong carrot cake. It seems like this is one of their best seller, and this is also one of the new scent recently released. To be honest, very intriguing yung name na carrot cake. What do you expect from a carrot cake? Lalo na kung ginawa pa siyang scent. Would it be earthy? Would it be sweet? Kasi cake nga siya. But this one actually gives me the earthy, floral, and sensual smell. And the sweet citrus blossom which is a favorite of course. And then we go to orange sherbet mimosa. And I must really say props to the packaging. Ang ganda. You can feel the quality. And it feels so luxe. Pulidong pulido. Walang, wala kang masabi talaga. Pati yung bottle, the label, it is matte. And it's very consistent. So the vibes gives me a citrus opening scent with a musky end notes and it actually smells like the variant black currant and ambergris but this one has a sweet citrus note at the end. Okay, my takeaway about perfume dessert. So this brand has a lot of variants especially from their flagship Gourmand and Hennessy edition. Gourmand edition gives or offers 15 cents. Hennessy edition offers a variety of 13 cents. They also got the sparkling that gives 4 cents and the newly launched inspired editions Aqua and Estrel offering 3 cents each. So this brand boast a massive 38 cents and I am sure that I am missing some more and during the time of making this video I got these numbers from a recent post from a perfume dessert authorized reseller to be honest 10 cents are not enough to give a substantial dent to what this brand has to offer and after trying this 10 cents I honestly want to try the rest I got this in a set because I saw an ad and it is really catchy. I was actually hoping that I will be getting a tub since I got this in a set. But it's okay. I'm paying for the fragrance anyway. And for this, 10 or among the 10 scents, my favorites are the Neroli and Grapefruit, Plum and Black Locust, and Cookie Dough. My two cents about these fragrances. First is the true value for money. You will never get this crazy, sweet, good sense for its price from any boutique or shop. And then the 10 ml is perfect for a carry-on or travel, so you can bring more than one of your favorite scent conveniently. And obviously, the variety. It is crazy to have this number of scents from a single brand. Nagulat talaga ako. And it is impossible for you not to get or to find your own favorite that you can associate to your mood or in some cases, a memory. The fragrances are long lasting, especially if you will spray it on your clothes. I tried sleeping on it or with it. <laughs> one time and nung gumising ako, it still smells on my shirt. However, it does not project well. Hindi ko alam ko pa paano i-describe but 
hindi ko maamo yung sarili ko. I mean, baka ako lang yon. And sometimes I need to really sink my nose into my skin para maamoy ko siya. Pero again, baka ako lang yon. And something obvious, since maliit nga yung tanim and I tend to use more than 10 sprays each time to make sure or to satisfy myself. And sadly, one of my favorites, which is the cookie dough, I got the spray defective. Hindi siya masyado nag-spray and medyo may leak siya. So, yun na lang muna today. I honestly don't have anything else to say or anything bad to say to this brand. And I hope that I get to hold of the others. And if I do, I promise to make another post like this. So, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye!